Hey guys, welcome back. Today I promised I would do a packing video for you. If you saw my previous video, you will know that tomorrow I am heading off to Barcelona, which is awesome. And I thought I would take the chance to show you exactly what I'm taking. Now, some of what I'm taking is obviously going to be very different to what I'll be taking on my Southeast Asia trip, in part because I'm staying with a friend. So there's bits like a towel for the shower and shampoo and conditioner and things that she said she's got for us to use, which is a bonus of staying with a friend when you're traveling and also because obviously the weather is slightly different in Europe. Spanish people are seriously fashionable and I'm always a little bit aware of that when I go to Barcelona so some of the clothes are not the backpacker rags that I take in other places around the world. We're going to start off with my main bag which I'm sharing with a friend which is why it's a dodgy old suitcase and I will only be putting my stuff in half of it because she's bringing her half to the airport and we're gonna have a shuffle there. And that is all my clothes and everything. I will then, once we've been through that, take you through what I will be putting in my carry-on. So behind me on the bed is all the clothing that I will be taking to Barcelona in my main case going in the hold of the aeroplane. And I'm just gonna briefly give you a little look and then take you through what I'm taking. <laughs> Okay, so first up is my Galette travel towel. This will be for the beach, as, as I've explained, Clara's got one for the shower for us. I've got a pair of jeans. Whoa. Just a pair of skinny jeans and a black tank top and a hoodie, which I will be traveling in. I'm taking the hoodie because although I probably won't need it in Barcelona, I'm getting the train back from the airport when I get back in the UK and I have no idea what the weather's gonna be like probably rubbish. In here is just some hair stuff, a few hair bands like these, and a few like bobby pin hair grip bits. Uh, I won't go through the whole thing. In this little one is just a few items of jewellery. There's literally, I think, an anklet, three small necklaces, and two pairs of earrings, that's all I'm gonna need. I wear my rings, like it's not expensive jewelry, it's just things that I like that make me feel like me. With this one is all my underwear and everything. I'm not gonna go through all of it, I don't think you need to see that. There are two bikinis, one of which I will be wearing as a bra, a couple of bras, three pairs of socks, enough pairs of pants for every day that I'm there, and a sarong for the beach, as well as just a shorts and t-shirt pajama set to sleep in. One pair of hair straighteners, perfect example of something I won't be taking to Southeast Asia, but I do want to take with me this time. For shoes, I've got a pair of trainers that I'm gonna be wearing to the airport because they're my heaviest and bulkiest shoes. I'm also just taking a pair of flip-flops. No, they're not the Havaianas that I got the other week. I'm gonna run these into the ground first. And the other pair of shoes I've got that I'm taking is just a really comfortable pair of flats that can be dressed up or down. I'm not taking heels, boots, or anything like that. I have one pretty scarf that's actually from Barcelona. Um, can't remember which shop it came out of, but it's very pretty. And that's just for if we were out in the evening and it's chilly or during the day, I can wrap it around my shoulders. You do realize I'm gonna have to literally like roll all this up again. <laughs> if it's crunched up, it's because it was already rolled and packed and I've had to unpack it for this video. I have got my makeup bag with some makeup in. Again, this is way more than I will be taking on my longer trip, but because I don't know where we're going, the lighting is so bad in here, I'm so sorry. Because I don't know where we're going, if we're going out and everything, I'm just taking that. My little travel wash bag, I won't go through everything in there, it's not very exciting, there's not a huge amount in there. There is at the moment, so I've got to take some stuff out. I didn't know that I didn't need to bring shampoo and everything when I packed it up. When I do go to Southeast Asia, I will run through my entire wash bag for what I'm taking. I think it will be more interesting and relevant then. This little see-through bag just has some sun cream in for my paleness, otherwise I'm gonna burn. And it will also just have my deodorant and some aloe vera gel that I use um, for sunburn. Oh, we're nearly there. Clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the things I'm going to wear on my bottom half. I have my little trusty pair of black shorts that you've seen before. One pair of denim shorts. 
These little sports shorts are not for public wear. They literally just go under a couple of the dresses I've got because they're a little bit see-through, so it's just to pr protect my modesty. One pair of black leggings and a below-the-knee smart skirt if we go out for dinner or to a bar or somewhere. So that's everything for my bottom half along with the jeans I've already showed you. For my tops, I have three basic tank tops, one in this colour, a navy and a black. I also have a, oh la la, it's inside out, like a spaghetti strap top with a funny little back. That's why I've got the bikini top to wear as a bra for some things. Two t-shirts from H&M in different blues. I have got two smarter tops if we go out for dinner or we're going to a bar or something. It's the first one and this little white one that I got in Australia. Although it's quite warm out in Barcelona, I could get a little bit chilly. So I have a lightweight jumper, a black cardigan and this khaki shirt to throw on over the top of things if I need to. And lastly, because we may be doing things that I have no idea on, I've just got three dresses that I'm taking as well. I'll stand up to show you those because they're quite long. So dress number one is just this little thing. Dress number two, rah, so much fabric, is just a long black dress with a back detail. And dress number three is a long floaty patterned number that I haven't had chance to wear anywhere else yet. And that's it, that is all of my clothes that I'm taking to Barcelona. I'm now gonna have to repack them and get them in my packing cube. that is all of my clothes now packed up in their packing cubes. I'm sure there are things that I will have missed out in this video. There's bound to be because I'm still using some of the things today and in the morning. But I think I've shown you pretty much everything I'm taking. And here it is in all its glory. Everything that will be going in my carry-on, otherwise known as my tech bag. And we will very, very briefly run through all of them. Here we have the Canon battery charger for my G7X Mark II and the little camera case that it's living in. There's also a spare battery in that case there. Right in the middle is my MacBook Pro with a Thool or Thule case for it and its charger. Over here is my GoPro Hero 4 with a range of accessories which all live in this little bag. Spare memory card, adapter, back door for the GoPro, sticky things to stick it on stuff and the strap for the in the water thing. Here is my Joby Gorillapod which I use for both the G7X Mark II to stop it being shaky like it is currently and also I use it with the GoPro as well. This is just a cheap power bank which I can use to charge my mobile or any other electrical items if I need to. Phone charger and spare USB plug, one camera lead lead for charging the GoPro, my Transcend hard drive to put all of my photos and videos on, another USB cable which I can't remember exactly what it's for, my little iPod shuffle which thankfully survived the dry bag test, along with the headphones for it. Two travel adapters, one specific to Europe and the other worldwide, although I'm a little bit scared this is gonna blow something up because when I used it with a hairdryer, the hairdryer stopped working, but I don't know whether it was due to this or the actual hairdryer. A notebook and pen, which is always very important for me. And of course, my passport in its little travel wallet, my purse, 
and my phone. And some of my electronics will be put in these dry bags which I have talked about previously. So let's pack! All of what you've just seen is going in my pack safe, 25 litres, which you can watch a previous video on. I will link it right up here for you. are all packed now and ready to go. My carry-on is ready, everything I need is in there, except you will notice the Gorilla Pod and both of my cameras aren't in there because I've been using them to film this video. I do hope that you join me for the vlogs and videos from Barcelona. I really can't wait to show you around. And don't forget, if you like this, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all the links are down below. Until next time, much love and I'll see you later. Bye!